this thing is actually pretty top notch. Uh oh, <gasps> no, I cr <laughs> no. Just listen to that royalty free rock music, baby. Hey, how's it going? My name is Neil, and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. The much anticipated uh, sequel to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, which actually came out a few years ago. But it is back and better than ever. The uh, lovely people over at Playway actually sent me an early copy of this game to show you guys. But you can actually buy this now. It came out today, uh, depending on when you're watching this. But yeah, it is out, and you guys can go play this for yourself. But you're watching me, so I guess you want to see me repair cars. And I am no gearhead, but I'm going to give it my best, and maybe I might even learn something along the way. But yeah, this is going to be a very relaxing video, so uh, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and hit that like button if you want to see more of this game. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it. I like this little charger. This No, it's a big charger boat. But yeah, this game does actually have licensed cars, so I'm, I'm pretty pumped to work on some, so let's get into it. We are going to be doing this blind. This is the first time I've fired this up so it should be interesting but I did play uh, 2015 quite a bit so if it's anything like that I should be good but yeah let's just get into it alrighty so we are in it says welcome to car mechanic simulator 2018 see the new fully unlocked garage and check the operation of the various parts of the workshop blah 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 when you're ready to just, okay so basically when we're ready to get out of the tutorial we just go for a test drive sounds good to me but I guess this is the uh the fully furnished garage, I imagine when I actually hop into the game, I'm not gonna be driving any of these. And what is this, an Audi? Oh. Okay, it's a it's a it's a it's a fake Audi. I guess they didn't get the license rights to Audi, but that's okay. It's you can you can obviously tell it's an Audi, but look at this game. This is medium settings because for some reason I was actually having trouble getting this thing to run on Ultra. Like it would like I'm sure I could, it just would not let me select it for something for some reason. Not sure what that's about. But it still looks pretty damn awesome, I gotta say. Alright, so there is the repair table. Uh, so you can repair stuff, broken parts. Makes sense to me. Uh, so what else we got around here? We got the uh, toolbox. So yeah, this is uh, the... You, they had this in the last game. It's pretty much just a skill tree. It lets you do stuff faster. Uh, once, you, once you progress through the game, you can unlock faster... You know, faster unscrewing and stuff. It's very similar, actually, to Train Mechanic Simulator, which makes sense because it's the same people. But yeah, it has a lot of the same mechanics. You just gotta know how to work stuff. There's the oil drain. So in case we have to uh, change some oil, now we know how to do it. That should be should work pretty damn good. All right. So what else we got? What is this? Engine stand allows for mounting and free access to the engine. Yeah, it did say. In the, uh, in the, in the, in the kind of updates to this new one that you can basically build a game from, or build an engine from scratch. But what I'm excited for, which I don't think I have unlocked right now. Oh, okay, engine crane. Yeah, gotcha. Is that you can actually find bar finds. Not bar find, barn finds. Sorry, it's really early in the morning. Anyway, you can go to barns, find old junkers, repair them to the fullest, and just, you can, you can basically make a brand new car. That is how detailed. There's thousands of parts in this game. Even got a paint shop, which is pretty damn awesome, and I saw something over here. Yeah, interior detailing toolkit. So if you have a shitty interior to your car, you can even replace all the stuff on this. It's, it's just an awesome game because of how detailed it is. All the stuff you can do. It's basically a gearhead's wet dream. Alright, so really it's not much of a tutorial, just kind of you just click on stuff and it shows you what you're doing. What is this? We got a PlayStation 4 controller with what appears to be a piss stain underneath it, which, yeah, that kind of fits the aesthetic of a mechanic shop. And we got a TV, I guess, this is where they chill. Yeah, that's a place. Oh, wait. Predator Station. That's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, bro. Pretty cool, bro. Uh, I guess they couldn't use a play. Uh, this game's on PlayStation, though. I wonder if the PlayStation Edition is an actual play. I don't know. It's not worth worrying about, so what else is there to look around here? I think that's pretty much it. We got the computer. That is, I believe that's where you order parts, right? Yes, it is. Sounds pretty easy to me. So, yeah, you guys, you, you guys can kind of see how it is set up now. So, I'm actually going to go for a test drive and get on with the game. So, I guess we go back here. Yes, we do. And we even got a map with all this stuff. Look at all that stuff we can do. Okay. Your garage, parking garage, and it said that you can, like, park your cars in there. So if you like buy and sell car, you can also bring your cars to auction and you can like beef up a car to the extreme, sell it 
for gold. And uh, yeah, we can go to a race if we ra race track. You can race in this game. Holy shit! Okay, and you can also go to the junkyard to look for parts. The works. All right, but I think we can only go to the test track. Yeah. And which car? Are these both running? Is this one? Oh no, it's not running. Damn it! All right, I guess we'll have to take the Audi. All right, so here we are at the test track, and it says test the car's steering, suspension, and braking, which will come in handy later on when somebody comes in saying they got brake broken brakes and the like. But this thing is actually pretty top notch. Uh oh, <gasps> no! I cr <laughs> no, I crashed it right at the beginning. You know. I don't think it does, but it would be really awesome if uh, you were, while you're test driving, if you crashed it, then you had to pay out of pocket to fix all the parts. It would be a complete bitch, but it'd be awesome at the same time. So let's just go over the suspension like a madman. I'm driving this thing like I stole it. You know what? It never made sense though. That saying, drive it like you stole. If you steal a car, you would think that you would want to uh, drive it very unnoticed. You would want to drive it as perfectly as possible as to go unnoticed. But you know. It's an old saying. Okay, so the tutorial is done. So are we ready to start the game? I say so. So let's get into the car doctoring. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm a car doctor. Alrighty, so here is our little girl. It's actually not that little though. It still is pretty spacious. You know, I could put a bed over here, a cot or something, and I could totally live here. So we have no cars to work on. So I guess it's time to get to work. So how do we do that? Do we go to, oh yeah, orders. Okay, so we have, uh, Mayan M3, the Audi, it says poor brake performance, and it lists the provided stuff we need, or... Oh, this one has plot to it! Okay, a year and a half ago I bought my son this car. He said that he's not interested in anything except filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil and the tires. Alright, so, I guess on this one all we really have to do is change the oil and uh, check the tires. Oh, this thing is rusting out, man. Okay, so how do I get it onto the lift? Well... Well, does this thing run? Does this thing even run? Let's uh, make sure that first. All right, so how do I start the car? Can I can I do that? Oh, yeah. Come on, start up for me. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. It's not even starting. Holy hell. Okay, the car is actually broken. <laughs> we can't even drive it if we wanted to. Okay, so we need to get this thing up on up on this real quick on the lift. So can we actually move this thing? How do I do that? Uh, no, not that way. Uh, move car. There we go. So move it to car. The lifter. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's take a look under the hood first of all. So what are we supposed to do for this? We're supposed to change the oil. Well, let's actually take a look inside here. Ooh. Okay. So the tires are complete shit. That makes sense. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So that's gonna be a pain in the ass. So let's actually just um. Let's change the oil first and get that over with. All right, so I believe we need the, this, the oil drain. So can we, uh, in the last game, you actually had to control it. I guess we can just move it this time. Oh yeah, sweet, okay. So that's easy enough. Now where is the drain? Where's the plug? Can I get in here? Uh, there it is right there. Come on, drain it, bitch. Drain it. Uh, maybe I have to switch to uh, disassembly mode. Uh, examine. Huh, maybe I don't. Maybe I just have to use it? Oh, yeah, okay, there was no oil in it. So that's probably causing, so that's probably why it didn't start. I'm not really a gearhead, but I do know enough, I guess. So let's get that shit out of here. And yeah, put that back. Let's lower it down and fill that up for sure. All right, so we're gonna really need to fill this bitch up. It was, it was pretty much, it was running on empty as is, so. Let's do that. Uh, I don't know. Let's check that. Maybe that's good enough. Uh, where's the dipstick in this thing? Is it there? Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. So what are we looking at? Ooh, oh, almost perfect. I can actually put a little bit more in. And I think we'll be okay. Whoops. Ah, I keep pushing the wrong button. There's a lot of controls for this game. Okay. Let's put a little bit more in. There we go. And that should be good. Oh, shit. Come on. Work with me. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. That might have been a little bit too much. That's okay, though. It's fine. I think that's about perfect. So, is that checked off now? Uh, yes it is. Okay, cool. So, we need a new air filter, a new fuel filter, and four new tires. Alright, so at least it lists them out for me, which is nice. But yeah, let's go ahead and get the uh, fuel filter out of here. So, is that this? No, it's- oh! Oh god, that looks atrocious! Look at that! Okay, I want to see what the health of this thing is. 
So can I actually get a, a re- a 6%! It's in 6% health condition right now. Okay, we need to get that the hell out of there right now. Get that shit. That is not safe. And I'm sure the air filter is not much better. So let's get that off of there. Get that shit out of there. Everything just kind of looks shitty in here. This car is not pristine in the slightest. But you know, that's what I'm here for, to make the car feel better. So get this stuff off. There we go. There we go. Work with me. The control, the camera controls are a little... They take a little bit to get used to it. It's the same with a train me mechanic simulator, but I think I got it now. There we go. And what was the other thing we needed? Do we need to repair anything else? Nope. Okay, well, I mean the tires, of course, but let's go ahead and buy a fuel filter and an air filter right quick. So we got to go to the old... S the the beige. That's how you know this computer's old when it's beige. All right, so I guess go here. We need an air filter. So type in air. Uh, yeah, it's this one. I'm pretty sure. So we'll take one of those and a fuel filter. Where we got? There it is. Uh, Thirty bucks. That's not bad. So we really aren't having to spend too much money so far. You like that drum and bass we're getting, boys? That's that's hip. That's pretty hip hop. Okay. So how do I put this? Back in there we go. So let's go ahead and put in the new one. We can can't. I don't even think it's worth selling that other one. It's literally just a piece of shit at this point. So I doubt we're gonna get. Oh, that, that was that was that was at zero. So yeah, the kid is a complete asshole, and <laughs> he doesn't care about his cars at all. Man, come on. All right, we'll put that back on there. It's in it's in good enough shape. It'll probably be okay. So let's get these back on so it doesn't fly off randomly. You can't. I wish you could just put them all on in bulk, but unfortunately you cannot. Which kind of is a bummer, but I understand why. Because even these pieces can break. So that just kind of goes to show how much, how much, uh, how much, how many items are in this game that you could repair. It's actually pretty damn crazy. All right, so how are we doing? There we go. Okay, so we need, we need new standard tire Bs. So... I'm actually gonna take one of these off so I can get a little bit of reference when I'm trying to buy here So let's get these off right quick. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful Yes, yeah, so we're making this car better by the second. Okay, so Let's take a look at this. What are we looking at here? Rim lots 205 55 R 16 so I guess we need um, Four of those right because that one was shitty and yeah, they're all shitty, so. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. All right, we got this. All right, so let's go to tires. We need standard B and we need 205, 55, and 16. So we need four of these, right? Yeah, we need four of them. So that is $1,880. So that's almost, that's almost all of my money right now. But you know, we gotta do it. All right, so can we just, um. Oh, wait. I, I saw these things in the tutorial. I'm wondering if we actually need to separate the rims because the rims were okay. So I guess we actually need to separate the the rims from the tire, so. Oh, yes, we do. Ah, shit. So here's one. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're actually going to dump that. We have to do this four times, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to dump the tires every time I do that because they're worthless. So, yeah, let's just get rid of the clutter here. This piece of shit. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. All right, so now we have to do that three more times. Oh, God, help me. Okay, I'm going to spare you this part because it is pretty damn boring. Unless you see, unless you like, uh, well, you know, the animation for uh, putting or separating the tire is actually pretty satisfying. But, you know, I'm still going to spare you because I don't want this video to go on for literally hours. All right, so that's two tires down, so two more to go. I'm actually getting pretty fast at this now. I can just go whoop. Whoop. I actually the first thing I think I'm gonna do when I have upgrade points is Make it so I can unscrew shit faster because it takes for fucking ever is the same That's the first thing I did in train mechanic simulator 2 and it seemed to work out pretty well So let's just get these off And we need to get this shit separated so we can get those brand spanking new tires And hopefully this kid won't kill himself driving to school because his, his tires are literally shit all right, separate those tires, boy. Come on, hurry up. I ain't got all day. These take forever, but damn it. That looks so cool. It almost makes me want to be a mechanic, you know. Almost. Not really. All righty, so we get rid of the clutter. These, I'm, I'm getting 70 bucks for these pieces of shit. This one is at, oh, okay, $2. 
<laughs> but yeah, if you just if you get from two percent um, health to twelve percent, it's a it's a it's a difference of like fifty four dollars. That is absolutely crazy. So now we have to um, emerge the tires with the rim. So that's another. That's gonna take forever. So let's just get it over with. Ooh, now we get to see him go on. Isn't that special? That's actually pretty satisfying. I wonder if we need to use the wheel balancer. I, I guess it couldn't it couldn't hurt. That's probably gonna take forever too. But you know, it's probably worth it in the long run. We might actually get more money for doing that. You never know. Come on, come on. Look at those brand spanking new tires. Oh, those are beautiful. The rims kind of look shitty, but you know, I, I don't I don't want to charge the guy more, or I don't want to pay for something I'm probably not gonna get paid back in return for. Actually, I don't know how it works. Could I just like totally trick out his car and he would have to pay for it? I don't, I'm not sure how the, the mechanics of that work in this game actually. All right, so only one more to go. So let's just get this over with and uh, send this guy on his way. I'm actually gonna see if wheel uh, balancing the wheels will actually help or if I even have to, I might actually have to do that. Let's just see here. So let's actually take one of these tires and try to put it back on the car. And if it doesn't work, then I know for sure that I actually have to do that. So, yep, yep, no, no items to work with. So we actually do have to come over here and balance all these wheels. God damn it. <sighs> come on. This one isn't as interesting to look at. Come on, man. Is it, oh, oh, and it takes forever to do. Great. Okay, I'll see you guys when I'm done with this because it is, yeah, not much to look at, honestly. All right, I believe this is the last one right here. Am I correct? Oh, no, there's one more. God damn. <laughs> okay, now we're done, right? We're done. Do we have four tires? Yes, holy hell. What the fuck? Whoa, where did all these rims come from? Um, that has to be a glitch, right? That has to be a glitch. Uh, anyway, let's see if these... <laughs> let's see if these tires will go back on here, so... Go ahead and put these on there. There we go. Yes, here we go. Sweet. I think we might be rich after this because I just I duplicated a bunch of rims apparently. Or maybe I'm, I'm not being stupid here. Am I? Did I just straight up duplicate a bunch of rims? Because if so, that is absolutely amazing. I don't know what's going on here, but now I have a scroll bar with all the rims I have. So what the hell is going on right now? I, I don't know. All right, so this tire is going on. Now, why aren't any of the other ones going on? That is the question. All right, so I figured out why they weren't going on there, but it really doesn't explain any of this. The I, I've already balanced so many of these, like five or six, but I guess I have to do one more, and then these should be able to actually go on on the car. So... Yeah, not sure what's going on, but I'm not gonna argue with it because I am about to get a lot of money, that is for sure. So this should go on here now, right? Correct? Yes! Okay, sweet. All right, there we go. So this should be done now, correct? Yes, sweet! And I believe this is the last one, and then we should be good on this, on this job. So let's get this screwed right in there. There we go. There we go, okay. So somebody who uh, knows game design better than me, um, did I did I do something weird or is this a glitch? I feel like it's a glitch, but anyway, there it is. She's done, I believe. So do we have everything checked off? Yes, we do. So we're about to get twenty one hundred and seventy one dollars. So let's go ahead and finish that up. And <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have to sell all of these because I don't need them. <sighs> Where's the bulk sell when you need it? That would be really nice. Wait, can I do that? No, I can't. Damn it. All right, so there we go. We are now sitting at $4,349, which is, yeah, a little bit crazy, wouldn't you say it? So that's an easy duplication glitch for you, apparently, although that might not actually be in the full version because, like I said, this is the beta version, so there could be some missteps here and there. I'm not going to abuse it, but, yeah, I, I did that one time, so... Yeah, there we go. That is the first job done. I wish I wouldn't have actually turned that in. I wanted to kind of take his his car for a little bit of a joy ride there. But I guess that's going to be where I'm going to end today's episode. Remember, if you want to see more of a Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, which honestly, I think this could make a really nice series, kind of like a relaxing series that we do every other 
Uh, every, every other couple of days, I think it could be good for the channel. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this game. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.